Woo! Is that too bright? Let me just get in front. So, yo, guys, yo, I am back in the truck. Let me see if I can, I can lighten that down a little bit. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Lockout man back in the truck. And I am feeling so damn good. So damn good. Let's uh let's uh clear this up so you guys can see me a little bit better. Can y'all see me? Right there, right there, y'all can see me real good, real good. So check it out, check it out. I am feeling real good, feeling real confident. Uh there's just a lot that I'm that I'm just overwhelmed right now. You, you guys just don't know how much overwhelmingness that I'm feeling right now. But I want to get into this topic. I want to get into this topic right quick. Now you guys already know that I did the video on that crash on I-70 with the uh, runaway driver, right? I forgot his name, but it's Ragul, Ragul Aguilera, something like that. Aguilera, something like that. I don't know, but I just want to come back and let you guys know that Illinois, Illinois, Illinois ain't bullshit. They ain't bullshitting, yo. They say, yo, they is tired of seeing way too many distracted drivers, way too many fatalities, way too many people lost in, in senseless car wrecks and stuff like that. Illinois say, yo, we, we cracking down. Police cracking down on distracted driving across Illinois. Yo, let's, let's uh, get into this right quick. Let's get into it. With high crash rates and a troubling number of injuries and deaths on these roads. We are see seeing a high number of fatal crashes. Kane County is flagged as one of the riskiest areas in all of Illinois when it comes to getting behind the wheel. Kane County is one of the most dangerous counties in the state when it comes to getting behind the wheel. And it's the site of, ma it's the site of a major crackdown as police are working to drive those numbers down. Oh, now he sees me. A statewide study focused in on the 23 counties with the most troubling numbers. Kane, with 36 fatal crashes, 39 lives lost, and 3,973 people injured. It's, it's way too many of us drivers out here that's, that get distracted way too easily. You know what I'm saying? When it comes by testing, on the phone doing doing crazy stuff you know what i'm saying doing stuff that you probably might not should be doing anyway hey it's a green turn in your badge and your weapon green i don't want to see you anywhere near this turn in your badge and your weapon It says here, we're seeing a high number of, fat of fatal crashes. Kane County is flagged as one of the riskiest areas for driving in all Illinois. A statewide study focused on 23 counties with most troubling numbers. Kane has 36 fatal crashes, 39 lo lives lost, and 3,973 people injured. My man say enough is enough, yo. We buckled up and rode along with state police trooper McDonald. Enough is enough. Who sees firsthand how high the stakes are. We're just, we're sick of the fatalities. We're sick of people getting injured when it's preventable. With many of the dangers he and others see, boiling down to one thing. Distracted driving is one of the leading causes of uh, fatal crashes and injury crashes in Illinois. He, he says, yo, I'm done, I'm tired. He sees firsthand how high how high the states are. We are sick of the fatalities. We are sick of the people getting injured. And it's preventable. It's preventable. He says many of the dangers he sees boils down to one thing. Distracted driving. If you talk on a cell phone or text when you're driving a car, you're practically doing the same thing. You're at the wheel of a big disaster waiting to happen. You don't see what's coming. You're not in control. 
Talking and texting virtually blindfold you, taking your attention away from driving and putting yourself and others at serious risk. Distracted driving is one of the leading cause of fatal crash and injuries in Illinois. And, you know, now that I think back on that fatal crash in Denver, now I know I've I read a lot of comments. A lot of people attribute that to his lack of in his, I mean, lack of experience, his age, and, you know, and him not knowing what to do. But have we, have we ever thought about maybe he was distracted? Maybe he was distracted. How about this video right here? This video right here. I'm going to let you guys peep that out, and I'll come back to it. Check it out. Right here, right there. That is not getting enough sleep at night. And we about to see why. So what do you think about that? He actually dozed off. So fatigue, fatigue fell into that right there, which caused that crash. And I'm sure the lady that was that was sleeping in the back, his passenger, his she wasn't happy. <laughs> she was not a happy camper after that. Distractive driving is 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 the cause of of some or if not all, you know, crashes. Illinois State Police and the Kane County Sheriff's Office and more teamed up to curb problems of distracted driving throughout the visibility of the campaign. We are trying to bring these numbers down. State Police, the Kane County Sheriff's Office and more teamed up to curb the problem of distracted driving through a high visibility campaign. We are trying to bring these numbers down. Where in just one day, they warned 25 distracted drivers and ticketed 98. If you are in the roadway, you cannot have your cell phone in your hand. In just one day, the campaign officers warned 25 distracted drivers and ticketed 98. 98. Police say people who text and drive more than double their odds of crashing. In less than 40 minutes on the road, Trooper McDonald Donald ticketed several distracted drivers. See, right here. Tickets one and two didn't take long. We'll see how many people. See, she's texting right there in a the black Mercedes. Police say folks who text and drive more than double their odds of a crash. It's hard to tell the difference between an intoxicated driver and an individual who's just texting. It's hard to tell the difference between an intoxicated driver. It's also hard to tell if a driver is tired too. Just like what happened with that man and that lady. Even if drivers using voice ba voice based technology, which is supposed to be safer, are upping everyone's risk on the road. Even drivers using voice based tech, which is supposed to be safer, are upping everyone's risk on the road. Do you have your driver's license for me, please? Your insurance card, please? What the man who sees those risks firsthand every day says everyone needs to hear tonight. Yeah, we need to put that exposure down. Too much exposure. I'm missing that. I used to have a curtain in the old truck. You know, I used to close the curtain like a lawn. Keep in mind that so many different families are out here on the road. And what you think is innocent looking up Dunkin' Donuts or sending a quick message, you can distractedly change someone else's family, just like that dude in Denver. He changed four people's lives out there. Keep in mind that so many different families are out here on the road, 
and what you think is innocent looking up Dunkin' Donuts or sending a quick message, you can drastically change the life of somebody else's family. State police tell me they're cracking down on all distracted driving across the Chicago area, already ticketing almost 4,000 drivers so far in 2019. I just want you guys to be safe out there, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just saying that I'm like an a, 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 a advocate out here, you know what I'm saying? And I, I believe me, I have my fair share of distractive driving, you know what I'm saying? I get phone calls. I get, you know, I get text messages and stuff like that. But what I try to do, what I try to do is I do use voice-based technology. I really do. When I get a text, I'll hit I'll hit the voice recorder on that and I will turn around and just say, "Hey, I'm driving. Uh call me back or hey, yada yada yada, send you know, because I got this sweet Galaxy S10. And I'm thinking about getting the tablet. I'm thinking about getting the tablet. I'm really young. I'm, I might just go in here and say, F it, and just get one. Um, but just be safe out here. Just, just be focused on what you're doing. And what you're doing is driving. Be focused about it. You know what I'm saying? Just be focused about it. You know, you don't want to end up changing people's lives. Because while we're driving this this 8,000 pound monstrosity that we call a truck, lives change in an instant.